When it comes to losing weight and keeping it off, having a routine is everything. Building a routine will help you stay consistent with your weight loss journey. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my current weight loss routine and how you can build a weight loss routine while doing one meal a day, also known as OMAD. First thing I do before I get out of bed is that I meditate or I pray. I make sure I thank God for a new day or I just do a meditation just connecting with my body. Then I put on something that is inspirational. Today I'm listening to David Goggins and he's right now talking about routine. He's talking about the importance of having a routine in order to achieve what you wanna get done in life. Routine is everything, especially when it comes to one meal a day or OMAD. It is so crucial. When I first started losing weight, my routine was literally getting out of bed, putting on a beach body workout, getting that workout done, getting my son ready, going to school, and making things happen. After getting out of bed and meditating, I then take off my clothes, go on the scale. I'm just addicted to weighing myself twice a day. I love it because the morning weigh-in is like a future predictor of my OMAD weigh-in. And it kind of gives me encouragement, especially when I see that morning weigh-in drop because I know that I'm gonna hit a lower weight when I weigh in in the evening. Now again, when you do one meal a day, you don't have to weigh yourself twice a day. I like to do that personally. The best time to weigh yourself is right before you break your fast. The scale will be more consistent that way. If you weigh yourself in the morning and you, you know, have a bigger meal later at night, it will screw up your weigh-in. And sometimes the morning weigh-in is not accurate at all. It will be completely off. But me personally, I like to do it because I am not afraid of the scale anymore. The scale is just a tool and it has no power over my emotions. After weighing myself, I step into the shower, brush my teeth, floss, do the whole lot, and then I come out and I make myself my hot cup of snake juice or my hot cup of electrolytes, which is a teaspoon of sodium, potassium, and baking soda. And I drink that. When it comes to figuring out your electrolyte amount, you gotta play with it yourself. I did a video on how to make your own electrolytes while eating one a meal a day. It's linked in the R card above. So I have that, voila, I make sure I finish this. So while I'm having this, I'm usually journaling, maybe I'm doing some DBT therapy, it depends what I'm feeling that day, get that all done. Once that's all done, I get my son ready for school, or if it's a weekend like today, I make him breakfast. He's thankfully sleeping in, because the boy is a growing boy with all the big bones he has. <laughs> so he's sleeping in. When he gets up, I'll make him breakfast. Once my son is set, that's when I head out to the gym. So once he wakes up, I make him a bunch of eggs, because he's into eggs right now, and then I head to the gym for a workout. While I'm having my electrolytes, I also pour myself a cup of fresh water, and that's when I have my vitamins. I have 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C, I have 5,000 IU units of vitamin D, and I have some magnesium biglycerate. Sometimes I throw in some other supplements there. Yes, I do take my vitamins on an empty stomach. I find if I wake up hungry on the rare days, like today I woke up hungry, and once I have my cup of snake juice and I throw in some vitamins, my hunger goes away. It's like my body's like, oh, she has vitamins. Oh, she has nutrients. We don't have to tell her she's hungry again. So yes, you gotta play with vitamins though. Some people get an upset stomach with vitamins. I know I have in the past. Um, and certain vitamins and supplements you have to be careful with because you need to actually take them with food. But vitamin C, vitamin D, and magnesium biglycerate, not a big deal. I'm good to go. I also take vitamin B2. So after the gym, I come home, I have an Epsom salt bath, and then I have a shower, and then I'm probably running to one of my appointments for my recovery from this car accident. Either I'm going to the concussion therapist, or I'm going to my chiropractor, or I'm going to one of my physiotherapists. After my appointment, I usually have some downtime, take a bit of a nap, because I need that with this concussion recovery, and then I'm up from my nap, and then I am ready to probably edit a YouTube video or hop on a live stream. 
And then throughout the day while I'm doing all of this, I'm ensuring that I'm having my bubbling water or my carbonated water. I usually have the Gleuschreiner water, which I'm totally mispronouncing, or I have the Panache water from Safeway. When I'm crushing my hunger, I do throw in some pickle juice in there, some apple cider vinegar, and now I'm into lemon. Lemon is like my thing. I have some lemon water and cayenne pepper heat units just to help you know keep me it's not so much about the hunger but to keep my digestion going keeping any issues clean because cayenne pepper can help resolve stomach ulcers and um, other issues that you may have with inflammation so I do that and then I break my fast at around 21 to 22 hours per day and before I break my fast, I do weigh myself, so I get in the second weigh-in, and then I'm breaking my fast, have my meal prepared, and call it a night. So if I'm doing keto OMAD, after I have my meal, I definitely like to have a hot cup of bone broth, or I have a hot cup of this lavender moon milk tea that I have to pick up more of, just to help with the digestion, because having one meal a day, it's a lot in a short amount of time. Uh, but right now I'm doing the 24 or more method. And if I'm not doing keto OMAD, I do the same thing. I have a hot cup of tea, milk, bone broth, and I go for a short five minute walk, because you never want to sit down right after a meal. You want to keep yourself, you know, moving. And then I clean up the kitchen, get my son in the bed, and there you have it. So that is my current one meal a day routine. I personally like to exercise in the morning. Let me know when you like to exercise. It is recommended that you exercise two to three hours before you break your fast to help crush the hunger. And it makes it easier because when you're done exercising, you have your OMAD meal. But I can totally suppress my appetite throughout the day after exercising. So let me know when you exercise. Let me know how your one meal a day routine works. Do you have your meal in the evening? Do you have your meal in the afternoon? And if you made it this far into the video, just drop in a bunch of food emojis. And if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel as I'm here to help you lose weight while I'm trying to crush to my final goal weight of 155 pounds. I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds. It's been a long journey, but I found the most success with weight loss while eating one meal a day. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.